Today we're going to talk about why you should never buy a 1977 Corvette. Noodle, I'm trying to make a video. Quit it. Alright, well, okay, you should buy a 1977 Corvette, but before you do, you need to watch this video. There's a whole bunch of things that are unique in one year only to a 1977 Corvette that you should know about before you go and buy one. Excuse the puddles and the dogs. It rained a bunch last night and it's muddy and squishy, but this is a 1977 Corvette that I bought two part out. Um, but before I do, I want to show you guys a few things. So 77 was the last year for um, the little back window. In 78, they went to the big back window. By this point, they had made Corvette for years in this body style. So they had to do something to keep interest up as they figured out the C4. So 77 was the last year for the small window. And they did a few things to kind of segue into the 78. The main thing being stuff in the interior. But it is also the first year besides 1968 that did not have Stingray on the sides. It had Corvette flags that looked like this. A lot of people will say it's not a Stingray because it doesn't say Stingray, but that's just a matter of opinion. It's kind of stupid. So under the hood is basically the same as a 76. There's only one difference. So there is a cruise control system, which was the first year for cruise control back in the day. And you can see it's all kinds of goofy. So you have the cruise control cable, which is this one. And it runs here, and it goes down here, and it has this really goofy servo bellows thing down here. It's the only year they did it. In 78, they moved it up to sit here. Here's the cruise transducer and everything down under here. So if you have a 77 with cruise control, it will probably not work. And if you ever do want to get it to work using the stock stuff, it's going to cost you a lot of money because it's a one-year only part. Another one-year only part is going to be the factory alarm. So early 77s, 76 and down all have an alarm hole. It's like a little key cylinder. It looks just like the door one here in the side of the fender. Halfway through the 1977 run, they changed the alarm system to use the key lock in the doors. Half of them have it, half of them don't. If you can get it to work, you're going to have to find one that does because they, they changed it for the 1978 year where they all had it. So that's something else you need to look out for. Another weird thing about the 77 VET is all the windshield trim is the 78 nut plastic trim. In the previous cars, they were, you know, thick vinyl. And because of that, the interior tops actually changed. If you see, if you're familiar with Corvettes, you'll see that the liners that fit in these tops are the thin paper type that came in the 78 and up cars but those cars had single latch t-tops so that makes these t-tops with dual latches and the later style headliner a one year only part which only 77s came with it just really never ends another thing that is 1977 only is a black door panel insert i guess um Wood grain at that point was out of style and they needed to get rid of all the extra stuff that they had. So they decided to put black ones in. You'll only find them on 77s. 78 is completely different door panel. 76 has wood grain. I wish this was all installed, but it's not. So you just have to bear with me. In 1977, they were in the middle of changing the interior. It's identical to 76 with the exception of the center console. So they introduced this plastic gauge bezel and plastic center console piece. Now, with that being said, everything else was the same as 1976. They were, I guess, stepping toward the 78 where everything in the entire interior would change. Because of that, everything in this car, a lot of the stuff in this car is a one year only piece. We're going to start with the console side panels. Those are one year only because they have to meet up with the earlier style um, side dash pieces. They're also not carpeted. They are vinyl wrapped. So that's one year only and they're more expensive because they're one year only. In 1976, the wiper switch was on the top of the bezel. 
1978, the wiper switch is on the side of the dash. In 1977, the wiper switch is in the steering column, which is ridiculously stupid. Another thing you have to know is that the edges of both the passenger and driver's side um, dash panels have a different edge that meets up with this gauge bezel. The ones on the earlier cars have stitching and the bezel sits inside of them. This one sits on top of it and covers it. So a little bit different. Now this steering column is the number one reason you need to a not buy a 77 Corvette that's broken <laughs> or find one that you know 78 or 76 and I'll tell you why. So this is the craziest thing. This is where they decided to put the wiper switch because there was, you know, that place wouldn't work and that place wouldn't work. Now this is a turn signal switch. This is also a dimmer switch. This is also a wiper switch. And this is also a washer switch. You see that? One, two, three, four, five things in one switch. Oh, but it gets better. Let's make this crazier. Where do we put the cruise control? Where do we do that? Let's put that on the tilt. So this is a one year only cruise tilt lever. In 78, they got rid of the wiper switch in here and they put the cruise on here if you had it. Totally different system. Now you might think, what's wrong with that? Well, a column like this with a good working switch and all this mechanism right here sells for about a grand. And I part out Corvettes and I get at least once a week, maybe every other week, someone asking for this assembly right here. It's really easy to break this stuff. And I've driven a few 1977s and the thing I hate the most about it, you go to turn your, you know, turn your turn signals on, you can actually turn your wipers on over and over and over and over. The problem is, if, since it's one year only, it's really, really hard to find. So there's my almost flooded, swampy 1977 Corvette. Uh, if you need parts, let me know. Um, but if you're going to buy a 77, check out all the little things that I talked about in this video because if you don't, it can be fairly expensive.